Dear students, let us start the discussion on today's newspaper that is 17th April 2017. The first article is Outrageous Defiance. It is the behavior of the Justice Karnan is discussed over here. Justice Karnan episode can be cited as an example and we don't need to discuss much about it. But systematically what is the problem let us see. So as of now the judges are been appointed through a collegium system. The collegium system from long is been criticized for the lack of transparency. The Justice Karnan's episode is a nightmare for the collegium system of appointment of judges. It also exposes the weaknesses of judicial accountability systems especially at the highest judiciary level. So in this context the judicial accountability and standards bill it was introduced in the parliament but did not see the light of the day. So the judicial accountability shall not infringe on judicial independence. Finding the golden mean is the greatest challenge over here. And above all the judicial accountability shall ensure the erring judges shall be brought to justice the existing process of judicial accountability involves only removal so the minor punishments also shall be indicted for the judges and a system shall be put in place that is what is this bill has tried to do the rights thing it is about army using a human shield in jammu and kashmir so let me make certain statements over here existence of security agencies like army police etc they have to instill a sense of security assurance and confidence among the people they shall not create fear and second the people violating are the stone throwers violating the law shall not be a reason for security agencies to violate the law because the security agencies has to function within the mandate of the law as they represent the state so the violation of the law to treat a person who violates the law is also against to the human rights so the state has to take up our state has to show utmost restraint so use of human shields is general practice by the terrorists and it is also a war crime so in this context the army has to instill confidence in the people rather than resorting to these measures which can increase the distance between the people and the army so that's why the culprits need to be brought to justice that's what is this article's advice is the carpool for cleaner air let us talk about this article now last magazine in magazine number 5 we have given a question what are the steps that have to be taken to raise the quality of air in urban areas in india so no none of the students have uh, spoken about these things that is carpooling so here there are two things which are been discussed one is high occupancy vehicles they shall be they shall be given separate lanes and this carpooling is very much successful in the united states of america in reducing air pollution and also vehicular traffic on the road and second thing is differential toll for treatment it means the toll of the vehicles charged to the vehicles will be proportional to the pollutants emitted by the vehicle if the vehicle has pollution under control certificate it means it has to be charged less if it is a electrical vehicle it has to be zero so higher pollution has to be penalized that's what is this article recommends over here the shifting sands of 2017 now European Union is at the 60th year of celebration and the challenges before are like never the challenges before the European Union are like never before so in this context let us see certain points there is a growth of right wing after the brexit the demand for the cessation is increasing from the right wing across various across various countries if you see the cohesive force that is uniting the european union is a liberal democracy and also common security framework slowly these two glues are getting weakened the rise in nationalism and also the threat which is been posed because of growth of various forms of terrorism in europe and immigrant challenges all these are giving rise to the growth of right wing 
If you take Maria Lepen in France and uh, alternative for Germany party in by headed by Mr Miss Petri in Germany Berlusconi in Italy all these are the right wing parties that are gaining significance but however dutch elections has given certain respite that liberal democrat has won the has won the elections so in this context the european union is facing a challenge like never before that is what is our carry home point now in this context in the prelims previously there was a question on differences between schengen area european union eurozone what are the differences between these three and also european commission european parliament european council european council of ministers what are the functions of these different bodies that you need to understand that will be a very good question for prelims and this year a question is expected on that area because european union is very much in discussion in the context of the brexit how london how uk is going to settle its position with the european union is under news that's why european union composition structure and various other associations with the european union this may come as a question in your prelims please focus on that now let's go to the open ed page the strange case of kulbushan adav that is kulbushan jadav so here this person is been arrested and convicted by the military court in the case in pakistan so in this context what are the dynamics which made military court to make this decision you all know that there are two power centers in pakistan and army wants to show its relevance in the pakistani politics and second is the whenever there is india pakistan born home obviously the pakistan army gets irritated and the conservatives raises their hand and third thing is the global politics the pakistan wants to make its presence felt and also show an equi morality with india it means india is accusing repeatedly of pakistan and trying to eliminate it in the international politics pakistan wants to project itself as a victim of terrorism and india is raising secessionist movement in pakistan in balochistan gilgit baltistan that is what is the impression it wants to project to the world and finally as the power change happened in uh, united states of america the new president will be keen on making his foreign policy priorities and pakistan wants to attract the attention of uh, us so that the kashmir becomes an uh, international issue rather than remaining as a bilateral issue as per the shimla agreement pakistan shall solve the kashmiri issue as only a bilateral issue which it tried to deviate many a times the next is publishers dilemma now this article has to be understood in the context of impact created by the technology on print media so whenever i say impact of technology today most of the people are reading the news through facebook through twitter google etc so it means a news publishers news are being delivered to the customer or consumer through a intermediary platform so this has become a new gate controlling the access of the news that have to be delivered to the citizen so in this context the bargaining bargaining power of these tech giants is much higher compared to the others and second is the news quality is also coming down it means that the post truth era is been in place and more and more the as the reputed newspapers are shutting down their publishing and shutting down their print obviously the quality of the news is expected to come down and also as monetization and advertisement revenue is coming down to the newspapers then it is also killing incentive for quality reporting that's what this article talks about nationalism then and now so what is this article about hindu nationalism and indian nationalism are two different things so indian nationalism it cuts across the religions indian nationalism has its origins again as to the operation of the british colonialists the 1857 revolt is an important example for the rise of indian nationalism if you observe hindus and muslims fought shoulder to shoulder in 1857 revolt but later divided and ruled by the britishers and added to that um, 
the confrontation between elites among Hindu Mahasabha and Muslim League. These have given rise to the rise of Hindu nationalism and Islam nationalism during the pre-independent India. So that's what is this article talks about. A glacial fight. You know that the Siachen is a conflict point between India and Pakistan. And it is the highest battleground of the world. So in this context, it is also a legacy of partition where the Radcliffe line is been up to point N9842 and after that it has been said north of the glaciers. So India takes instrument of accession and also 1949 Karachi agreement as the basis to determine the definition of north of glaciers. So as of now India is in an advantageous position. And for demilitarization to happen, India is asking for the determination of existing ground positions, which Pakistan is not willing to agree. It means once demilitarization happens without recognizing the ground positions, there is a chance that Pakistan can occupy it at a later date. So that's why strategically India is not willing to withdraw from there. More than the Pakistan, the enemy is the weather over there. So, with climate change, melting glaciers, avalanches have become common, which are taking the life of our soldiers. So, some remedy has to be found to this. That is what is this article talks about. Now, let's go to the business review. Just remember this statement. India, as of now, do not have a data security policy. And India shall get a data security policy in place. So to update your e-governance notes, you just use this data security policy as an answer. And then let's revise our notes. So the first one is outrageous defiance. So it is about the Justice Karnan's thing. So he summons six judges. Remember one point? We have to balance the judicial accountability and judicial autonomy. So in this context, judicial standards and accountability bill need to be revisited. And the next is the right thing. It is about the human rights issue in Jammu and Kashmir. So, the law enforcement agency shall never violate the law. So, violation of the law is not a solution to address the law violators. Violators of the law. And next is, the human shields, these are a war crime. And there shall be a code of conduct to the army, which has to clearly state that human rights violations shall be avoided in all the circumstances, even if it can lead to operational success. And carpool for cleaner air. So high volume vehicles, high occupancy vehicles, and also the tolls. It means along with that differential toll treatment. These are the things which we need to discuss. And next is shifting sands into of 2017. It is about the reasons for the growth of right wing in the Europe. And also here we are discussing about what are the challenges the European Union is facing. And then the publisher's dilemma. The rise in social media has, is creating new challenges to media. That's what is the point we need to remember. A glacial fight. The climate change and melting glaciers and frequent avalanches, these are the new challenges to our soldiers in Siachen. So these are the articles we need to remember today. Thank you very much and all the best. And one more thing. Sandeep sir has released a video of his 6th um, edition of LaX Weekly. And you can watch it at uh, a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is um, the La Excellence. YouTube channel. You can Google it as La Excellence and you can see the uh, this particular channel. Or you can also Google it as Civil Prep in the YouTube. You can search it as Civil Prep in the YouTube. You can get both. You can use the thing to watch it. Thank you very much and all the best.